I said it three times. I didn't want the salmon. <laughs> We're at the North Jetty, the Surfside one, if you will, in Freeport. Check out this parking lot stacked with vehicles. Everybody is getting ready to get out there, try their hand at maybe some smacks, some specks, whatever's biting. The green water is in right now, and uh, we are going to forego playing on the rocks trying to fight everybody elbow to elbow so i got my boy rx angler here uh, his channel is going to be linked in the description below for those that don't know him uh check it out and so yeah we got the kayaks out and uh that's gonna allow us with the winds the way they are we got sea okay so the winds are probably like less than five miles an hour coming in supposedly out of the west but it's non-existent so the seas because of those winds are uh, like less than one foot. So it's perfect conditions to take these kayaks out there. Yep, start at that south jetty. <clears throat> Holy moly, we even start and I'm dirty. You know how a wet cat looks when it gets wet? Well, that makes absolutely no sense. You know how a cat looks when it gets wet? You know how a wet cat looks when it gets wet, Nick? <laughs> My pants. There we go, we got him. Hooked up, Nick. I said I got him. It's a smack. Holy moly, this guy's got some strength. There we go. So, had one of these before, and boy, he just chopped a hole through my net. Son. All right, we're gonna get the boga, because this guy's got some nasty chompers, and uh, yeah, he's gonna make mincemeat of my net. All right, all right, bruh. All right, hold on. This is the first smack that I've actually caught that is worthwhile. Here. Let's get the net out the way and then we got to get ourselves out of the way of the jetty before it turns into a nasty mess. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to harvest this fella. We ripped his gills darn near <laughs> out of place, but uh, Nick was gonna want to keep some of these anyways. And I've actually brought the ice chest out, not knowing what we would hook into, so I'm kind of interested in seeing what they're gonna taste like as well. Throw them on a stringer. All right, there we go. Look at that. Nice, nice smack. Get y'all a good look at it. That is a good size right there. Very oily fish, I'm told. Dude, straight up gangster. He had a small shrimp in his mouth and the other guy was like, give it to me. I hit them at about 30 feet of water. Oh God, there's a bunch of blow up going on right there. Let's see what they are. It's a small guy, whatever it is. It's another smack. There's a school of smacks, they're kind of small. It's a shame, we're gonna have to put this guy back and he's a bleeder. They're going after shrimp. I don't know, they just disappeared like quickly. We got a bleeder, hopefully he lives. 14 inches on the smacks, ladies and gents. 14 inches. Oh, we got him. Let's see what this guy is. He's pulling right behind me.
We got another little smack. Oh, we, we hooked him. This guy is like, I want to be bait. <laughs> right in the top of the head. Bruh. You're going to go let your friends know you got bamboozled by a darn spoon. Tinier variety, probably 12 inches. There we go. Look at that. That is, that is a beautiful fish. And off he goes. Probably came right in at it and then just got foul hooked. Jumped the gun. That's where I'm casting, like a little towards the uh, like left hand side of him. See, that's what I wish I had because that thing goes far. Yeah, those slap. Oh, there he goes. I just I saw him come up and flash on it. This guy's got some bottom in, man. What is this? The flash didn't look that big. Holy smokes, bro. What are you? All right. Let's let's work with this. Let's do this. <laughs> what what is this guy? Look at that! It's a speck! And look at the way I caught him! You caught him? Yeah! Oh, that's a good size speck anyway. <laughs> Man, you caught bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be a good angler and normally if you foul hook these things you're supposed to throw them back because technically it is uh not a legal catch. This guy's definitely a keeper. There, that is a 16 and a half inch speck, so. All right, buddy, just bite again, this time with the mouth. Wasn't even recording. Oh my gosh, how many rookie mistakes can I make? So what y'all just missed is uh, a nice smack just hit my line and is a pretty decent fight. Uh, next thing you know, he gets water all over the GoPro and the mic adapter and everything else. And I was like, I'm already down one mic adapter. Sorry, I'm trying to clean this at the same time as I'm talking. And there's water all over it. So if we lose audio, it's because of this guy right here. But uh, pretty nice smack. We'll get him off, throw him on a stringer, and hopefully I, I'll stop making rookie mistakes and we'll be able to catch the uh the hookup and the fight and everything on video but check that out that's what we're looking at right now i have shifted from the south jetty here in freeport all the way over to the north jetty because the bite just kind of slowed down over there and then we get over here and immediately hook up so that's a good sign all right how many smacks are we allowed to keep that i don't know <laughs> Probably not one. all right <laughs> i think I think the limit might be five. Five, okay. That makes sense. Specs go five down south. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just make up our own our own it's, rules. Uh, two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the oh shoot, look. I was like, where's the shark? Look, Nick. Oh my god. I just threw my stuff inside the water and that guy is following around. All right, well, we can't put these fellas inside the water right now because we got a small little, I think it's a black tip. He's a black tip, or what's the other ones that look like a black tip? Look at him right here. Dude, he, he smells it. All right, well, this is what we're working with right now. The smacks are out here, and they are biting. Lure of choice, a half-ounce spoon. Gold or silver. Silver, in my opinion, works better. But uh, it's working. Dude, that sucks, bro. That's a smack. It's gotta be. He hit it just like one and started running. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
There we go. Oh no! Pompano! Nice! What size do they gotta be? Good they are good eating. I've never had it. I've had them in uh, Panama. Nice. Good job, Mark. Of course, the one that I caught was a lot bigger than this. Oh! It came off and he went right into the net. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Nice. I'm going to see what size they got to be. And then we'll throw this guy away if he's too small. All right, Brad, just chill in the net. All right, we just went to the Texas Parks and Wildlife website to find out what the legal limit was or if there was a bag limit and length limit on these guys right here, and there is not, so he's going to go on a stringer. Holy cow, there's a uh, ship out there that, that's got to deploy its lifeboat. He needs a rescue boat. They're cruising at about 13 feet now. Yeah, quite a few big ones. 13 going to, oh, yes. Come on, what is it gonna be? It's been a long time since we got a bite. Oh, it's another pompano, bro. Good side, Ugh. Boy, these things go broadside and they start taking that drag. Oh, I just missed them. Get up here. There we go, into the basket. And then the fry basket later on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick just said it's some form of catfish. Little does he know I'm going to eat good tonight. <laughs> hey, let, come on, buddy. Come on, chill out. You got to play by the rules. If you get caught, we laugh at you. Those are the rules. Ah, it's a bait running right now underneath us. Oh, wow. He took the hook right out of the mouth for us just so that we can throw him on the stringa. Yeah, I, this looks like a pompano to me. Watch it be bait. <laughs> and what are you stringing bait up for when we go in? <laughs> like, no, that's not bait. Like, uh, the, the hell it ain't. Uh, now I'm going to say, man, Nick lied to me. We are now headed back in. It was a good day. I'm not gonna say it was the best, but I finally got a stringer of smacks. So let's pull this thing up. So not bad, huh? Pretty decent uh, stringer right there. Did pretty well for ourselves. I wanna thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you wanna see more, well then hit that subscribe button. I do want to let y'all know that I will be doing my meetup on August 12th, that is Sunday, and we'll start about 7 a.m. at the San Luis Beach. So if you're free during that time, hey, put it on the calendar and try to make it out there. I'd love to see, see y'all and just shake hands. Uh, I'm not going to fish, or at least from the kayak I won't. I'll be there at the beach just chilling with the grill and having some drinks. RX Angler will be out there and uh, should be a great time. All right, that is it. Until next time, tight lines, everyone.